Hey, Couture Bays, it's your girl, Brit Brat, going live with the Bree Talk. And, child, we got to talk about Mr. Tevin Campbell and Miss Jaguar, right, honey? Child, 2020 ain't been right since y'all did the broom challenge and said y'all didn't wash y'all legs in the shower. Now, before we get into that, let's like, comment, and subscribe. Tap that notification bell so you can get all the updates and alerts. And remember, opinions are not facts. Baby, let's get into this tea. I, I know Tevin, but we're not friends. Him and Latoya were friends. How does a boy with a voice like that, that had the records that he had that could have easily transformed into one of the greatest male vocals of all time, end up prostituting himself for drugs and change on Hollywood Boulevard? How does that happen with a gift like his? My advice to any female who wants to get into this business, I, I know. So quick backstory, Tevin Campbell had one of the best vocals, in my opinion, in the 90s. I'm talking about could sing. This boy was discovered by Warner Brothers at the age of 12. He was singing with Quincy Jones shortly after that and then Prince. Now I will say this, word on the curb is Quincy Jones groomed him and those rumors came up and about again after Quincy Jones infamous vulture interview do y'all remember that when he was talking about the Marlon Brando and Marvin Gaye and how all the boys was dipping it low picking it up slow for each other if you don't remember let's take a look at this See, he said all that to say absolutely nothing. What Tevin Campbell won't tell you is the powers that be ensured that when he was 19 and he got arrested, it was just a misdemeanor. But how come he had to do Narcotics Anonymous and take a sexual awareness class for HIV and AIDS? See, that's what he doesn't want to expound on. That's what he never wants to explain. Everybody likes to make it seem like this was the reason why Tevin Campbell disappeared off the scene. Let's get into it. Didn't I tell y'all this was going to be messy? So in that sister to sister interview, the infamous one where he said he was transsexual. I don't even know what that means, honey. Still to this day, I will never forget that because I read it with my own two eyes. He pretty much said, if you look up the article where the industry introduce you to things and then you start to become curious about some things. What? Make it make sense. Mind you, when he did this interview, I think he was like 23. So what is a 12 year old being introduced to that the rest of us are not to the point where he's trisexual and he's starting to open up sexually to all types of things. I'll tell you what it is. Modern day grooming. See, he was raised in a single parent household. His mother wanted him to be successful. So she was a momager. And like Jaguar Wright was alluding to in that video, you can look it up on the internet, where she stated, if you're around people who are weak-minded, who are focused on their bag, you will get swallowed up in the process. Case in point, Tobey Maguire, the guy who played Spider-Man originally, stated his mother would never let him out of her eyesight because she did not like all the private parties and the drinking and the party favors people were doing around not only adults but children i mean this is nothing new brooke shields posed for playboy at 13 13 13 so i truly believe the rumors where they say quincy jones groomed him prince turned him out and he had a love affair with Rashawn Peterson and he turned to drugs and prostitution that has always been the key 
key on Mr. Tevin Campbell, Mr. Can We Talk, I'm Ready, and shh. Like, what are you doing singing songs like that anyway at your young age? Like, make it make sense. See, the problem is the Me Too movement is starting to slowly trickle into the R&B and hip hop spectrum. And people are not prepared for that because some of our greatest artists of all time are in on it. I mean, <laughs> just look around. Things aren't adding up. Let's not act like Boy George and Prince didn't have a love affair, okay? Let's not act like Tevin Campbell did not work with R. Kelly, okay? Let's not act like Tevin Campbell did not work with Usher over at Diddy's house. That's all I'm saying. I mean, <laughs> I'll let you put it into context, but what are your thoughts on this? What are your opinions? I know some of you are tired of Jaguar right always spilling the tea but she told y'all she made a pact with God that she would tell the truth on everything because she went through so much pain and karma see when you're not right within it will eat you inside out but those are my thoughts those are my opinions comment down below and I gotta go bye hoes